Hey, what is up, YouTube? And I just looked up at my TV, and it's Bob's Burgers. Yeah, I'm definitely changing that. Uh, hey, what is up, YouTube? Original Dark Mew here. We're back with another three websites for generating some pretty cool stuff. Um, I did one video before with three websites where we checked out websites to create uh, Pokemon cards, Pokemon trainer cards, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and it's not going to be Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh this time, but we do have three more to check out. Um, I will be leaving links to each website in the description down below. I'll uh, probably leave a link to my first video checking out those other websites down below as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first website is an error message generator, error box message generator. Uh, I kind of just made one before recording this part of the video. Um, makes your own error message boxes. So, first off, you pick your little symbol that appears right here. Uh, I picked this one because it's pretty funny. It's a marijuana leaf. There's a bunch of other ones. Um, table saw, cake, mailbox, there's penguins, even a nuke one. And you pick that. And you down on here and you pick which style you want, 95 or 98 or XP. I honestly think it would be better if they updated this to have, you know, all the Windows 7, 8, 10 ones, but yeah. And you put in the title, which appears on the blue bar here. And you put in what the error message says, and you can add up to three buttons. You can also gray them out. So right now I have this one made. And they're none grayed out. Let's see, I select gray on this one. And it grays it out. And one thing to notice, though, is... Say you put a, you started typing more and more in, and you generate it. It'll make it longer. So one tip I have is to, every now and then, press enter before typing again, so it doesn't make it so long, because it'll stretch out pretty freaking far, like all the way over here. So there's that one. So that is the first website. Um, let's move on to the next. Alright guys, so the second one is a Chinese restaurant sign, and uh, it will look like this, and basically all it does is replace the, um, the text on the sign. And this is what it says by default, Pio, Pio, Chi Sorry. Pio King, that wasn't chicken. And down here, you can edit that, you can have it to four lines, and... Um, it has like a certain character limit, so you don't go off this sign here, but uh, I put Bobo's Corner, and then I put today's special, Cow Dick, you just don't know it. So when you're done putting in all your lines, you click make my sign, and there you go, and just right click and save it. It's probably the most simple generator I've ever found, but it's still pretty cool. Make some funny things, send it to your friends on Kick or something, or uh, Instagram, you know, whatever. Just make some funny things and dick around with it. So, yeah, let's move on to the final one, because the final one is pretty complex, and it's, you guys might actually like that one a lot better, so, yeah, let's move on to that. Alright guys, so this one's probably one of my favorites, and one of my top favorite websites I've ever visited and this one is actually kind of hard to find it took me about 20 minutes searching through Google different keywords to find this one because there's some other ones that are quote improved there's hero machine 2.0 and 2.3 but uh, the original hero machine here it is I'll will leave the link in the description like I said before um, if you're a Marvel or DC fan you both will like this it's completely not labeled on either one of them as far as I know and you can create your own superhero basically there's also some sports jerseys but they're uh, they don't have very much customization options don't ask me why they have sports on here but um, you can click fantasy human humanoid human is female and humanoid is male so, as you saw just then and if I go to human as female. 
So we're gonna go ahead and check out this one real quick. And it might take a minute to load, but that's alright. And there you go. There's a lot of customization. You customize the skin, eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, and each one has anywhere from 10 to 30 different options. And each one looks pretty cool. Um, you choose the primary and secondary color for each of them. So, the yellow one, uh, purple. And you can choose a beard. You don't even have to have any of them, to be honest. Hair, headgear, undershirt, overshirt, gloves. Gloves, left and right anyway. You got the coat. You can choose any type of belt. And the really cool thing about this is it can be anywhere from like a high-tech assassin to a medieval warrior. Uh, leggings, foot left and right, pants. You got you can choose there's so many different weapons and shields here. Weapon left is usually the shield. Um, weapon right, you can make the weapons match if you wanted to, like this. Um, and it has some back options, wings, shields on the back, tails, and background. And only on the fantasy tab that you chose over here from the beginning has the, um, the companion. So I typically like to make this more. So, and I, I, I mean, I'm called Mew on here, so obviously I like cats a lot. So, I honestly choose that one. Anyway, so that's that one. You can randomize it, you can customize it all you want. Um, when you're done, it will. You can click save, and it will give you a code. And you can change that. You can like make a notepad. Um, like make a notepad document and copy this, so that when you want, if you want to return to it, you go to here, and then paste that code that you saved. Um, or you can go to uh, how did I do it? Like I discovered this from middle school, and I, I absolutely loved it. Unfortunately, there's no copy and save option when you right-click it, but that's why you should probably make a notepad and copy this. So, so yeah, that's the uh, fantasy part of it. And oh yeah, you can put your character name down here. Sometimes if you make a character, um, the, the foot will cover the name, so it kind of sucks. But Anyway, let's go to restart, let's go to superhero. There's three different types. There's blaster, which is normally a slim. You can make that male or female, by the way. It's normally a, uh, just a normal type here, type body. You can do all that stuff again. Um... This one usually has some more high-tech weapons and a bunch of guns on it. So you can give yourself, uh, say an Uzi and whatever the heck that is. There's the superhero brick type, which is a huge Hulk type body. Uh, any moment now would be nice. Depending on your computer, sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it loads automatically. Or close like that. So you see it's like a Hulk type. Thing. You can have, him have a dragon tattoo, um, stuff like that. And again, the weapons. In the Hulk type, the weapons often have these giant, can, giant things like a wrecking ball, they have huge piece of metal, a yield sign, and then you have all the regular ones. All the melee and the guns, I do believe, so are here. Yeah, see? So yeah, um, and as you, as I said before, you don't have the companions in the heroes area. So, and last but not least, there's the M artist, and this one, however, unlike all the others, you can customize different eyes and faces. This one, you have preset faces. 
so I don't usually like this one too much. And there's not that many different uh, selections, as you can see. It's missing five of them, and there's only one weapon. You can't do different weapons. You have to do the same in both hands or just one in one hand. So if you're a superhero fan, I'm not, I'm not too much, but I still love to create these things. If you're a superhero fan, that you will love this website here and just love to spend hours making your own superheroes or villains. And don't forget to name your character down here and when you're done remember to make a notepad thing copy and paste it, save the notepad so when you want to return to it or edit it you can paste it here. So that's it for this third website and yeah. Alright guys so before we go I wanted to actually note that I could have added more to them because the first and second website are actually the same website they're just two different pages of it um, it's the Adam Smasher website I'll, I'll leave the link of it to its main page here in the description as well but, uh, from there I went and got to the error message website error message website you don't expect to understand I, I like that um, and then the Chinese restaurant was there but there's also a bunch of other ones. There's a Las Vegas strip, uh, office building sign, all that type of all that type of stuff. And holy crap, I think I actually visited. I think I know where this is actually. Yeah, I, I know this building uh, somewhere in Arkansas. Anyway, um, oops. So yeah, I actually use the error message generator here for one of my skits and one of my skits videos. And I'll actually probably leave that skit here at the end of the video. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, please share my videos with your friends. Uh, I, I really love seeing my channel grow. I know if you have a channel, you like seeing it too. And the thing is, when you subscribe to my channel, I click right here. Go to where my subscribers are, and I've subscribed to every one of you. So please do subscribe for more videos, and I will do the same for you. Thank you, have a good day, and yeah, see you later. Alright, time to play some GTA. Aw, oh, thanks Obama.